10 steps on how you can become a successful photographer. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes with the Joel Grimes Academy, and today we're gonna to talk about 10 steps on how you can become a successful photographer. Now, we're gonna do this in three parts, so this is part one. All right, step one, practice your craft more than your competition. So this is my success right here. This is the story about how I have made it all these years. As a freshman in college, my very first year, I was sitting in my classroom looking at all these amazing young photographers, and I thought, how in the world can I compete? I put my work up, and I was no rock star, I can tell you. And so I thought, i got to find this secret here. How am, I gonna, how am I gonna make it? And a little thought came into my head, and that is, if I can outwork them, I got a chance. For 40 years, my goal has been to outwork 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet. That's my secret. Now, I know that's a lot, and you can't always put in 12 hours a day or plus, whatever, to your craft. But as a general rule, we're kind of slackers. We need to be self-motivated. You need to get up. You need to go out, create images, and you need to rock it. And you got to put in the time. So there's that thing where Malcolm Gladwell talks about 10,000 hours. If you haven't read that in the Outliers, it's a great book. But you have to put in the time. There's no secret. You can go to the best school, graduate with honors, but when it comes down to the real world, you gotta outwork your competition. So, don't be a slacker, get out there and put in the time. All right, step two, build a body of work in a series. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, last summer, I spent 100 days on the road shooting Harley Davidson riders and their bikes. 100 days straight. Now, I know the secret is that I can't just make one beautiful picture of a Harley rider. I gotta make hundreds. And a body of work always stands greater than one single image. Now, I want that one or two images that hopefully are gonna be my icon images. But as a body of work, as I present that to the marketplace, people remember it. So just one incredible image, hmm, doesn't stick in someone's brain, but a body of work will. Here, so that's one reason why you work in a series. Number two is you become an expert. When you repeat something over and over, you become an expert because you make mistakes. And you go and you say, okay, that didn't work. Let's try something else. Then you go, you know, that worked. So I'm going to do it again. Only maybe I'll try a little bit different twist. And you get better and better. So how many portraits of Harley riders do you think it takes before you become an expert at shooting that subject matter. Well, hundreds. And so I know the secret is if I go out and build a body of work, it has a greater impact in the marketplace. So think in series. Now what happens is most of us get bored. So pick a series that you'll be interested in, not just one year down the road, maybe two to three years. It takes that long to build a body of work to infiltrate into the marketplace. Can't do it overnight. So think in series. Number three, avoid following the latest trends. Now it's very tempting to see a photographer that's been successful and you say, you know what, I could do that. I'm gonna go and do what they do. And so you go and you build, you start building some uh, images that look like whoever you think is amazing photographer, right? You follow someone's trend and then you see their success. You think that could be my success. Well, here's a problem with that. The person that is in that position of being a trendsetter, so to speak, or someone that you, know, you look to and you say, I want to do that kind of work, they're successful. They've been doing it for a while. Like I said before, they've built a body of work. They've spent two, three, four, maybe even five years repeating the same subject matter, getting really good at it, honing their skill set, and then they put it out in the marketplace. And you come along and go, oh, I want to be successful. Look, that's easy. I'll do it. Well, maybe you don't say it's easy, but you say, I could do that. Well, here's the thing you are going to have to also put in a couple years in building a body of work to get to the quality of that person that you're chasing. Well, so if this person's got it out in the marketplace and by the time you get it into the marketplace, it almost becomes old hat. I mean, it's already been out in the marketplace for a period of time. Most trends last seven to 10 years. I mean, if it's a good trend, seven to 10 years. And we're, I think that's even shortening over time. You know, it does, we don't have that long of a time to 
have a body of work that actually makes an impact on the marketplace. It has a short lifespan. So by the time you get up and running, get your work out, it's gone. It's old, old, old news. So here's my, here's my secret to what I believe is success, is that you go out, you build a body of work that fits you. And then you become a trendsetter. You do it for three years. You put in your 10,000 hours. You go out and rock it. And then people follow you. And then all of a sudden now you're in the marketplace. And you are the one that is at the front of the pack, not the back. So avoid following the latest trends. Set the trends yourself. So there's part one to 10 steps to becoming a successful photographer. We're gonna follow with part two and three. Now, if you want to see this all in one format, I have it in a PDF that you can download for free. Go to Joel Grimes Workshops, with an S, dot com. When you log in, there it sits. If you've already logged in before to my blog, all you gotta do is the front page will say, hey, do you want the, the, the 10 steps to being a successful photographer? You can click it and put it on your iPad, iPhone, refer to it. I want you to succeed in what you love. I want you to follow your dream. And I've had a blast in the last 40 years doing what I love. And so therefore, I wanna pass it on to you guys. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell. And then you can keep up with all my current content.